Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel and to another episode. In this episode, I want to talk to you about the Super String Theory. Before that, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. So watch out! already checked my last video in the last part of the video I have told them even though the standard model gave us a refined picture in the composition of the universe it only constitutes roughly 5% of the total matters in the universe and even it is not ultimate building blocks that we think of so there comes the picture of super string theory which I will take video on that right if you have not checked the video, you just do check it off because in this video, you will need some of the basics that I told in the last video. Most of us are aware of Albert Einstein's biography to some extent. In the last part of his life, he devoted himself in the greatest task to figure out the theory of everything. The theory or model which can describe all the interactions, phenomena and realm of reality. When he passed away on April 14, 1955, in Princeton University, it left the unfinished manuscripts of his legendary works on his table. Perhaps he was unable to do that due to two shortcomings, the limit of technologies and the knowledge about the fundamental forces of the universe. It concludes that the idea of theory of everything did originally to the time of Einstein himself. As Einstein proved a complete new way that we look to the universe, improving Newton's work through his two legendary papers, Special and General Theory of Relativity, it successfully described the laws that governs the universe at large scales. However, in 1900s, eminent physicists like Max Planck, Erwin Schrodinger, Heisenberg, realized that the laws that governs the universe at the small scales behaved so unique from the larger scales and the math can't describe it. Rather, it required another branch of complete new theory to describe it. It gave birth to quantum mechanics. So far, there are two theories, Einstein's relativity and quantum mechanics which describes the universe at large and at small scales. Well, superstring theory is one of the candidates which is inspired from Einstein's dream of achieving grand unified theory. Any successful theory should have following criteria. The theory should unify all the known laws of physics governed by four fundamental forces of the universe. It should explain the origin and end of the universe the Big Bang and the Black Holes, which current theories can't understand much. It should predict and visualize the ultimate building blocks of the universe. It should also solve the mysteries like dark matter and dark energy. It should yield any testable observations and observable phenomenon that we can perceive in the known universe. The closest achievements that we got so far is what we call the standard model, which comprises of elementary particles and three force interacting particles. It is one of the finest achievements in physics. However, we still have many questions that left unanswered by standard model. No clue of gravity in model. The current standard model does not include the gravity. Gravity is one of the fundamental forces which holds up the universe at the large scale. There's a bridge between the classical and the quantum understanding while other forces can be described by interactions on the quantum level. Dark energy mystery. It does not give any clue to the dark stuffs that makes up almost 95% of the universe. Baryon asymmetry. If universe began from the Big Bang, the energy led to pair production that could have produced same amount of antimatter and no matter. However, the current universe is matter dominated. We cannot find any anti 
matter remaining somewhere. Origin of the neutrino masses The neutrinos are not massless and their origin of the masses cannot be explained. And all neutrinos are left-handed and right-handed neutrinos and left-handed anti-neutrinos are not observed. Maybe the solution that could explain the baryon asymmetry. The gravity when plugged into the standard model should have its own particle called the graviton. But the quantum correction on the gravitons is inconsistent and the quantum theory and it is a tough job. It results on available infinities and probabilities that is greater than one that makes no sense to the description of reality. So combining gravity to the standard model requires another concept called the quantum gravity that requires quantized space to explain it. The string theory is the collective efforts of many theorists which have dedicated their lives during researches and still in the verge of its travel. The string theory is based upon the simple idea that the point particles of standard model is just an approximation. If carefully observed through the particles with resolution high enough, it can be viewed as one dimension strings that can be considered as the plant land. The string can be open or closed. It can vibrate into different modes of oscillations 1, 2, 3, etc. It is due to the different oscillations that one string can resemble different particles. It is that when strings are excited, it gives the intuition of different particles that is described by standard model. It means the point-like particles that we can see is just the result of excitement of strings that results in the intuitions that we perceive. The mass describes the interaction and existence of gravitons in quantum level in order to work that theory. For the point-like particles, it traces its trajectories that can be resembled by lines. While they are represented by strings, it can trace a surface, thus can explain all the probabilities of the interactions, thus ignoring the infinities when describing the graviton properties. The string field equation resembles something like this. It is just the head scratcher that I don't understand. Sorry guys. However, there are still anomalies of this theory. First, the theory is based upon concept of supersymmetry, meaning that as much as there are fermions, there should be bosons. But till now, no symmetry has been found. According to this, there are still spaces in standard model that should be filled by the new particle. The string realization of point particles works only in 26 dimensions, which is far from describing the four dimensions of the universe that we live. Even simplifying the theory works only in 11 dimensions, which sounds like just a mathematical nonsense. There is no direct evidence that point-like particles are composed of strings due to technological limits. Yet, we are not sure whether the strings are correct or not. However, theories are not annoyed by the shortcomings. They are treated as the positive clues for revealing even deeper truths that universe has to offer. The hunt for supersymmetries made to hunt for particles like axions, that is probable candidate for explaining the dark matter particles. The extra dimensions emerged from the theory made them to make two hypotheses. It can explain the weakness of the gravity as compared to other three forces. It explains as the gravity has only access to hidden dimensions that recur the upon acting it is distributed in all dimensions so that the intense of gravity we feel is just a share of its magnitude assigned for four dimensions that we perceive. As the dimensions can curl up and resemble any geometry allowed by the math, it gives the idea of existence of multi-universe that has different configurations of dimensions. Thus, can also explain the Big Bang 
that I said in previous videos. As the string can be closed or open, it can also solve black hole information paradoxes. So far, the theory has been so promising. The future goal for the theory of everything is such an exciting scope. The Nobel Prizes are waiting for any breakthroughs that we anticipate. Therefore, it is always fun to keep touch on what they have to offer and read textbooks titled The Great Unified Theory. Fires, I wish it may happen in our time. That is the coolest achievement that mankind has done to understand where we came from.